99% of people skip this step and it's costing them deletions. Don't let that be you. You know me, I got you. I'm gonna show you the steps so you can blow up your credit score. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. What's up, family? I'm back with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, Welcome to the family. So in today's class, I'm going to show you this one crucial step that's going to help you get better results. So with that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know what you got to do. And we're just going to drink some water today, because whoo, and it's going to be a good one. Hey, welcome to today's lesson. Man, this is going to be a good one. So in today's lesson, 99% of people skip this step, right? They skip hushing the snitches. But good for you, you're going to learn about a lot of snitches, right? Previously, I showed you like nine to ten, right, of uh, snitches. But man, there's so many other snitches that I want you to start getting information about. Like, start reading this information. So, some of them you can't hush them up. However, I want you to see people that are collecting your information that you probably have no idea about. And when I saw this list, I was like, I can't believe it. So, everybody knows about, of course, the big three, right? Um, Echo Factor, Spear, and TransUnion, but employment so employment history there's a lot of people collecting information now i'm not going to go through all these but what you can do is look at the different places and understand and see what kind of information they're collecting because they might have the wrong information so as you can see look at this Whew. for employment just appointment alone look look at the list so um sorry but look at this list, backgroundchecks.com, background information services, background, oh, background network, business information group, castle, man, checker, criminal, criminal 401, driver IQ, driver history by TransUnion, easy screen, employment screen, IQ, all these different places have your information. And guess what? They're selling our information and making a lot of money on it, right? So it's imperative that you check out this information. You check out these different places. Make sure they're correct because they're making money off of us and we're not making no money off of them. So check out all these different places. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you see everything's aligned. If you're getting denied a job based off of what's going on in your credit, it might be incorrect. So make sure you hush them up. Um, some of the places you can't hush up, but you want to go ahead and order a report and see what's really going on. All right, let me show you the next um, few places. Man, this list goes on and on for employment. Now, let's talk about tenant screening. So a lot of people try to get apartments, right? And some people get denied and don't even know why they got denied. Some, of course, can, of course, uh, of course, it could be because of credit. However, of course, it could be about other things that you don't even know about. But the tenant or the apartment people cannot disclose that information. They just say denied based off of whatever they say. Um, but what you want to do is check and see why you got denied, if you got denied for being in an apartment based off of not just um, credit issues, but other issues as well. So here are some places you can check out advanced background service. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go to these places and read everything because we will be on here for a long time. So, um, but I will make a few videos about a few of the places so you can get more information and more detail, but like CoreLogic, like, um, that's like one of the big switches I always talk about, right? Hush them up. This is part of written. So advanced background um, services. This one, CoreLogic, um, Experian, rent, you probably even heard about this. Um, First Advantage Corporation, InfoLink, Lease and Desk, My Screening, Report, National. Oh my gosh. Rent go by like look at all these different places. So now you know it's not just credit. It could be other reasons why you get denied for um trying to get an apartment. Now, this, like I said before, they're selling your information. They're making money off your information. So just make sure you check out and see what's really going on when it comes to applying for an apartment and see why you got denied, not just off of credit, but other reasons as well, because they, they got this information and you probably don't even know why you got denied. So, you know, I got you. All right, I'm going to show you the other um, snitches as well. So we see the tenant information, right? They got, who TransUnion got one item. All right, so let's talk about check and banking screening, right? So a lot of people ask why they get denied because of um, they're not just in check systems, um, early warning systems, why they can't get an account. So of course you can get a, a bank account. There's other ways you can get a bank account, but here's are, here are some of the places you can also check. Um, check systems is really good because you're gonna get 
um, once you go to checksystems.com, you'll be able to order a report and you'll be able to see what's really going on when it comes to check systems. Same thing with early warning, right? You will be able to see what they're reporting on why you can't get a checking account. So check out these other places. Now, these other places are crucial as well because you probably don't even know about these places as well. Shoot, I don't even know about half of these places until I got the information. So I'm pretty sure you don't know about the information as well. Now you got the information, go do your due diligence and see um, all the different places because like I said, they're making a lot of money off of us. They're reporting this information. They getting paid because of us. So you can get things removed. Um, I don't know how to remove. So one thing I don't know how to do is remove stuff. The only thing I know how to do when it comes to like removing stuff off of check systems is um, paying it and, you know, and it'll come off your um, check system. So other places you can probably dispute. I'm pretty sure you can do it on CFPB. I haven't done it for anybody, so I can't give you the information on how to remove stuff off your check systems. The only thing I know is if it's on check systems, just pay it and then it'll come off like in two to three business days. So the next thing, personal property insurance. Mm -hmm. So insurance, insurance, insurance is a big key when it comes to um, your payments as well. So a lot of people don't realize that insurance, um, a lot of people don't realize that when it comes to insurance, it goes off your credit as well. So if you have bad credit, you're going to have bad insurance, like high interest for car insurance as well. It's not just, of course, um, if you got in a car accident and all those other things, traffic tickets, that is played, uh, that plays a huge role. But one more thing plays a huge role is credit, 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 right? So per uh, personal property insurance and other insurance. So as you can see, look, I'm just going to show you Lexus. Hey, Lexus and Lexus is really big when it comes to insurance. So look at this. Now we have more places, low income and subprime, right? So they're collecting information. CoreLogic, Teletrack, Factor Trust, Clarity Services. So these basically, quote unquote, they are, um, they're, they have our information. They, they're collecting our information. They're selling it. They're making the money. They're also putting us in a, a category. So if, if you live in a low income area and you are, I guess, probably reporting to this, it's most likely that they already know that you're in a low income area because um, based off of, the information that's being reported. So from what I, from my understanding is that if you're in a low income area, your information is going to be sold to this information. So they already categorize, uh, categorize people if you're in a low income and subprime area. So, hey, this is, this is crazy. Um, supplement, uh, supplementary alternative credit reports. So there are other places, of course, like I said, the other snitches, hush them up, right? Factual data, interviews, first point, if, um, inflection, choice. Like, there's so many places, right? As you can see, A plus personal lines, um, choice. Like, look at this collection resources. They're collecting our information, selling it, making money. Um, credit IQ, credit report by CoreLogic, Lexus, Lexus, risk, uh, risk solution. Say stream, as you already know about. So medical. So a lot of people ask about medical and how it's being reported. So they're, um, from what I'm understanding um, that came out, they should be getting, uh, well, they are getting rid of medical collections off your credit report based off of how much you owe. So um, I made a video about it a while ago, but you can do your information as well. I mean, you can do your research and check about it as well. But this is a place that are reporting medical information and they're selling it, selling it to the credit bureaus, and this is how it's getting reported. So here are some uh, extra places you can go to to check um, and make sure that's correct as well. Utility. So a lot of people ask about utilities and how it's being sold. Here's a place on utilities. So as you can see, retail, anytime you go to these retail stores, they're selling your information. Anytime you get one of those like discount cars or get anything, they're selling our information. So just be just be aware. So if, if you're cool with it, you're cool with it. But I'm just letting you know your information is being sold all the time. Woo! Hey, that was a lot of second day your agency snitching on us. I know some of y'all probably mad. Some of y'all probably angry. Some of y'all probably don't care. However, one thing I want y'all to understand that they're making money off of us. So one thing I don't want you to do is quit when it comes to dispute. I don't want you to give up because your credit report, your credit is your life because, you know, Everything revolves around credit. So just don't quit on disputing. I'm going to help y'all. I'm answering y'all comments. Just make sure you drop your comments. But as y'all see, 
There are a lot of secondary agencies. Man, whew, I can't believe it. All right, I'll see y'all in the next class.